What's up, guys? My name is Peter Joseph Kuhn from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'll be your foreign host today for the Morning English podcast. Welcome, Peter. Great to have you on the show. And hello, everyone. My name is Kara. 欢迎收听今天的早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Kara,、uh, I'm a little shy. What? No, no, you're not shy. Not at all. <laughs> ah, well, it's a slang expression that means I'm a little low on cash. Ah, interesting. So I guess that's our topic for today, right? You're absolutely right. Borrowing and lending money. Ah,、uh, okay. Apparently, we've got a useful topic today. 嗯嗯，如何用英文向别人借钱和借别人钱呢？这个大家可得好好学了啊。So, firstly, we just mentioned the phrase "I'm a little shy," or you could say "I'm a little short." So they both mean that I'm low on cash or I don't have enough money. So that doesn't actually mean I'm shy as a person. My personality、mm. is shy.、Uh, it's just like、uh, I'm a little low. So, for example, if I say I'm a little shy of a thousand bucks, or I'm just short of a thousand bucks, they mean the same thing. 对，他们的意思都是我我缺一千块。I'm a little shy. 大家可以想象成呢，就是说我的钱包，我的口袋有点害羞啊，就是钱不多，钱不够啊。或者呢，你可以讲 I'm a little short. 其实就是 short of money 嘛，对不对？ Mm-hmm. 那这两个表达呢，都可以用来说手头紧或者缺钱的意思。So let's talk about when you need to borrow money. So if you're borrowing money from parents, you can say, "Hi, mom and dad. I really want to buy the new iPhone, but I'm just shy of a thousand dollars. I just need two hundred more. Can I please borrow it from you and I'll pay you back? I promise." 嗯，非常关键的一句 ，I'll pay you back， <笑>我会还的。啊、uh, ，要记得 ，when you're asking someone for money， always be nice and polite， and always make sure you say that you will pay them back. Of course, everyone wants to hear that.、Mm. Also, if they're unsure of lending you money， you can say you will pay them back with interest. So, but if they're your parents， they probably won't ask for that. 嗯，如果光说会还啊，你还是觉得没有底气的话呢，你还是怕对方不借给你的话呢，你可以加上一个 with interest， 就是带利息的。I'll pay you back with interest， 我会连本带利的还给你。那如果说我作为借人钱的这一方呢 ？Okay， so when you're lending to a friend， you can say the following. Sure， I'll lend you the money. When can I expect to be paid back？ 嗯，是你是个好人。好的，我借给你，但是你大概什么时候还呢？ But remember, never lend to a friend with the expectation of getting it back. Sometimes you may never get the money back, but hey, that's what what, what friends are for, right? No, I'm I'm just kidding. <laughs> you better are. This made me think of a saying called "friends are forever until you let them borrow your money." Yeah, exactly.、Uh, so,、uh, like I said, don't expect to get the money back. It's just a good thing if your friend does pay you back. 对，就是如果说你借给你的朋友钱的话，不要盼望着对方会还给你，不要有那个 expectation。如果还你的话呢，那是好事，没还就算了。借出去的钱泼出去的水啊，呃，那如果你真的不想借呢 ？Is there any good ways to refuse lending money to a friend? Well, the Best way is to say an excuse,、um, so you don't hurt their feelings. You、uh, could say, "Oh, I'm really sorry. I haven't gotten my paycheck from my work yet. I can't really,、uh, I can't really lend it to you. Otherwise, I'll be short or I'll be shy myself." Ah,、uh, 就是你可以找借口，就是说，哎呀，我还没发工资呢，我自己也没有钱，就还是不要直接讲我不想借，这样子会伤害到对方的感情，伤害到这段友谊啊。Right, but if You are a man of principle, or a woman of principle.、Uh, I should, you should say, you know, I really just don't have that principle. I have to stick to my moral grounds, and I actually don't lend money to anyone. You could just be honest. End of relationships. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're asking for a loan from the bank, it's a whole different story. Ah,、uh, 当然，刚刚说这个 loan 表示贷款啊，呃、uh, ，就是跟爸妈和。
朋友啊，借钱那一套就拿到这儿就不管用了。你在银行贷款的时候呢，就是要要怎么讲呢 ？So first, they're going to ask you、uh, about what the loan is for. They will ask you what your credit score is.、Mm -hmm. They'll ask you what your annual income is, and they'll ask you what your profession is. The bank just needs to make sure that the loan will be paid back. 嗯，好，几个关键词啊，就是银行呢会问你贷款的原因 ，what the loan is for， 然后你的信用评分 ，credit score， 然后这个 annual income 就是年收入 ，profession 职业，因为人家要确保。借出去的钱要能够回来嘛，不能光凭你一句说 "I'll pay you back"， 这个就不管用了。<laughs> right, imagine if that would work. <laughs> so,、uh, I said the word interest before. So, the price of getting a loan from the bank is called interest. So, it is a percentage of the total loan that you'll have to pay over time. This is why getting a loan from the bank is expensive, and you should first ask your friends or family. That way, you won't have to pay interest. 嗯，就同样银行的这个利息呢，我们也是叫做 interest。所以如果你要问利率是多少，你就可以讲 How much is the interest rate? 嗯、mm, ，perfect. 嗯、mm. ，All right. So just to recap, we went over some English words with the following situations: borrowing money from parents, lending money to a friend, and borrowing money from a bank. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, that's good for today. All right, thanks, Peter. I learned a lot today. See you next time on the Morning English podcast. Okay, bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.